What is up guys? This is the first ever Lego review that we've ever done on this channel and today we're going to be reviewing this knockoff Lego brand that I Lego brand uh, Black Pearl Pirate Ship that I bought off of Amazon for $40 I believe except this isn't just the Black Pearl this is the Black Sorcerer which is crazy Okay, so when I bought this ship, I was just starting to get back into Legos again after the first time in a long time. And I had the original Lego Black Pearl, except I was in a bum back in the day and I disassembled it. And I'm having a hard time rebuilding it. So I decided I would buy a new one. But the new, the new ones, if you want to get one, are freaking expensive. So I decided I would be a cheapskate and buy the ripoff Chinese brand named the Black Sorcerer and it's really not that bad it's probably more detailed than the original to be honest except it's miniature sized it's like a mini version which is kinda cute but also kinda silly when you compare it to the other Lego ships um, it took me like five or six hours to build and I'm not fast at building at all so yeah that's fun it costs $40 on Amazon, and it came in this box. See right there? It says Black Sorcerer. And I don't know what company made it. Something Chinese. That's why it's so stinking cheap. Um, it had two instruction books, which were both actually kind of thick. This book one, this book two. There's one. It's not that thick. Here's the other one. Even thicker. Um, it was fun to build, except when you build it, it's so fragile, or so hard to put together that whenever you put a piece down on, especially on this back side of the ship up here, all these details, you feel like if you wanted the push it down really hard it's gonna destroy the entire ship because it's so um, rip off Lego and it's so tiny like look at that I just dropped one of these what the heck that happened like a hundred times when I was building it um you know, the cool thing about this ship compared to the original though is it has two floors which the original does not have Okay, so first, I'm going to show the upper levels before I go down to the bottom levels. So at the front, it's like the original. You got the front sail. A better angle. The front sail. And the front of the ship goes up. Over here, you have these marks on this sail, which I don't remember being on the original. And then you got the ladders, just like the classic. And then... You got the back and you got the crazy gold stuff going on. In up here by the wheel, you can pull this top piece off. And you can look down in. And you can also open the doors, just like the classic Black Pearl. So if you look in there, you got a table. You got tables, chairs, benches, just the normal stuff. Try to get a better angle on my phone. Anyway, so you got that. Then on the top, you got a little rowboat. That door, trap door under it doesn't open, sadly. You got cannons and stuff. Torches, the whole shebang. And then on the other side, you got the anchor. And you can see the second floor's got cannons down here, which is cool. Because the original has only got one level of cannons and not two. So in that sense, the ship's better. But, um, yeah, now it's open the bottom for you. Okay, so this is the back piece if you pull it off of the ship. It comes off pretty easily, you just don't want to destroy everything in the process. You can see the door and the stairs are connected to the cabin in the back. 
which I don't think the original comes off the back like this because I think there's only one floor. And so that's the back piece. Over here is the other middle piece on top. You can see better. These railing pieces got bent because they're pieces of crap from China. So that's worth noting, I guess. The only pieces that did that were the ladders and these black railings. And then we got this mini piece here with the wheel on it. It's got a sail. And then for the cool part, or the cooler part, <laughs> You got the bottom, starting from the back, you come back, you got a chicken wheel that you can cook chicken over the fire, and it does spin, which is kind of funny. Got some pans, and the original doesn't have any of this. You got more cannons, and if you bought more cannons, which I don't know where you'd buy them, you could put more cannons on the ship. You got some swords hanging in there. It's got cannons all across. You got the the sail or the mast is down at the bottom on both of these. And then back here, I don't know if you can see it very good. Let's see if I can sneak my camera in there. Back there, behind that is just a whole bunch of barrels, which is a storage area, which is cool. The original does not have that. Okay, so for um, overall building. It's not crazy hard if you're competent and you can use your hands holding these tiny pieces because they are definitely smaller than normal Legos. The, um, the only part that was super difficult was um, building the back here with all these little pieces. That will drive you insane. I about committed war crimes because of how many times uh, these flames right here fell off. And down here, these things keep falling off. So that is kind of a weak, I don't know. I think it's just because they're so cheap and tiny that they don't stick very good. But um, there is one thing that I have not showed you guys yet. Um, one, we got this. This is a ship holder. You can put your ship on top of that. See, I put it on top of there. I personally don't like using it because I feel like it's going to fall off a little bit. And, I don't know, I feel like it's a little tiny to be holding up the whole ship, but it does come with that, and that's the last piece you build. And I was just kidding, there is one more thing I need to show you guys, and I haven't even built it yet, so we'll be looking at it together. Okay, so this little bag is what all my extra pieces I had that it comes with the ship. They give you a lot of extras, which is cool, so I put them in that baggie. But what we're really excited in here for is this. This is all the rip-off Pirates of the Caribbean characters. And they're in the baggie. And uh, we're going to build them. So, yeah. Okay, so I've gone ahead and built all five minifigures. Um, they are super-duper tiny. And they're hilarious, I think. Because they, you can tell who they are, but they are also, like, so bad that it's just funny. So I'll show you the first guy. This is Davy Jones. He is absolutely tiny. I don't know how well you can see it, but um, he has a sword. His hat's kind of goofy looking. His beard is not tentacles. It is, in fact, just a blonde beard. Um... The thing that is kind of cool about them, though, is their bodies can turn. Their torsos can turn all the way because they only have one joint that connects their legs to their body. So they can turn all the way, which is kind of cool. But they're also midgets. Like, they are super tiny. So I'll go ahead and show you all the minifigs up close so that you can get look at the lack of details. Um... Okay, so we got Captain Jack here. He's got his pistol. He's got some rum. Um, he has no hair. He just has this hat that doesn't even look like his hat. Um, that'll focus. He's got. He does have his jacket, which is still true. He doesn't have any of his uh, 
cloths at the bottom by his pants, so that's kind of silly. Um, I think he's super goofy looking, especially compared to the real Jack, and I'll show you the size comparison in a minute. Next we got Davy Jones. He has a few details. He's got a sword, but his beard is just a beard, which is hilarious. There's nothing on the back, I don't believe. Nope. Because he just all came from China. No details. Anyway, this is Bootstrap Bill. He's got his knife. He looks super goofy. Um, so that's him. This is the one I think looks the least like the movie version. Is Gibbs. He just doesn't look like Gibbs. He just looks like a dude with gray hair and a green coat. So there he is. I'm sorry I'm filming on my phone, so it doesn't do very good. Uh, there's Will. He also looks more like Anakin Skywalker than he does like Will. And he has a compass, which is literally just a blue block. And that is supposed to be his, uh, what are they called, the scope? Whatever you want to call it. I don't remember. Okay, so here's a comparison of normal Jack Sparrow compared to rip-off Chinese brand Jack Sparrow. Um, normal Jack is far more detailed, far more taller, and he also has a monkey, which I gave him, so that's sick. Um, yeah, he's just, these mini, these Chinese Legos are so much tinier, but they're also cheaper, so you can't really blame them. I'm going to put them all on the ship so we can see what it looks like size-wise with the ship next. Okay, so I put them all on the ship. That's the size comparison to the ship. So they're pretty realistic sized to the other Lego brand or the real Legos. Down here, here's the railing. We can compare Jack to Davy Jones. That's normal versus rip-off version. He is... Looks like a giant. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, that's going to bring us towards the end of this review. You're probably asking, is this ship worth 40 bucks? And I, I think it is. If you're just going to display it, it's not bad at all. It looks like a ship. It's pretty detailed and it's fun to build. Um, I think it's worth buying if you're just trying to get a little Lego ship to display on a shelf or something, or maybe build a tiny mock. It's kind of cool. Um, this video is definitely not worth 40 bucks because it's super cringy, but um, they'll get better, I promise. Um, if you liked the video, please like it, subscribe, comment what Lego things you want to see next because I've been buying lots of knockoff Legos lately. So there's definitely going to be more reviews coming. And... Thanks for watching.